Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So, I wasn't planning on doing one this soon, but something I wasn't anticipating happened to me today. I had previously ordered this, but what turned up was this. So needless to say, I was ecstatic because looking at it and feeling it, I believe this is gonna be a lot better than an Elite Trainer Box. Now, from what I can tell, nowhere on the box says exactly what's inside, and you can only see a few in there. I haven't really had a proper look at it. I just thought I'm gonna get upstairs, record it, and just get straight into it. Let's open it and find out. I cannot believe it. So I literally ordered an Elite Trainer box, and now we've just got all of those. So I'm not gonna do it all in one video. Obviously, that would just be too much. Um, well, it wouldn't, a lot of people do it, but for the videos I do, this is gonna be amazing. I can do a couple of videos with just a few packs, do another few videos where I can probably put them in between. These will, they'll last me a while anyway. I will probably do eight packs a day, purely for the fact that I was gonna get an Elite Trainer box. That's how many you get in most of them. If it looks like the video needs a little bit more filling out, I might whack another pack or two in, purely for the fact that this is all we've got today. But they are all Crimson Invasion, which I've opened minimal amounts of. I think when these were about, I was still collecting Pokemon cards, but I don't think I got many of these for some reason. So a lot of the artworks in here will be cards that I have never either seen before or never had myself before. I have just randomly picked the first eight out, so we'll just open them up and dive straight in. Because it has been that long since I've opened any of these, I can't remember the card trick um, or whether that is good or bad, because obviously in the latter ones, the white means good, green means not. Um, we will give all the code cards away at the end. That one is green. I have already gave that code away, but hey. Uh, one, two, three to the Front. is that an energy so it's three to the front than energy so that's going to be a green one which will mean nothing so good i am rambling because i'm just i can't believe that's happened today getting something i wasn't expecting like that um yeah so what we get then so we are starting with a lazy looking mill tank really nice artwork i am hoping to get some rare cards in this Throughout the whole box, hoping to get something really good. We have Swinnup looking cozy, Mankey. Normally, I'm gonna ramble a lot in this because normally I try and prepare Mischievous as the hollow. And for the rare, we have Star Raptor. Yeah, um, I normally try and plan a little bit of what I wanna say at times, but I just got so excited. I've run upstairs and just, like I say, dove straight into them. Go straight in for the second pack, another green. Three to the front, fighting energy. We have another lazy looking mill tank. Pillar Swine, peaking red card. Carablast, I've definitely seen that one before. Dino, Dino, Houndor, Bunnelby. Shallus, yeah, I'm, I've had that card quite a few times. Oh, Hollow Melotic, I really like that one. With TLC and Ocean Cyclone. And the rare we have, Miss Magius. Just keep going and going because why not? We have uh, another green card. I'd like to pull something lucky today. Steel Energy. Diggersby, Hakameo, we have the counter catcher, Shalmit, Salandit, Startley, Skiddo, Pikachu, that's the weird looking Pikachu, Hollow Skiddo, and Excalibur as the rare. I do sometimes try and look into rare pulls that you can get out of these as well. So whether it's going to be rainbow rares, hollows, legendaries. I'm literally going into this one blind. Another green? 
Um, not looking like we will get anything rare today, which is a shame after all that look we've just got. Haunter, dashing pouch. Um, yeah, I'd like to get something quite rare today. Stuffle, mischievous, charm show, mischievous again as the hollow, and the rare is beadrill. We are already down four packs, so we'll go straight into our fifth, hoping for something rarer, you would have thought. I've not got a bit of a dud box here. Straight in with the brood, the catcher, the digger, the swablu, spoink, chomcho. Jigglypuff hollering, execute, hounded. Oh, that I really like that. It's a hollow as well. That artwork's amazing. We have Aaron Guru as the rare. Straight in with a another pack. Yay! Finally, so it's starting to get really disappointing. That was. I'm not expecting anything amazing at the back, so not always going to be good, but just to get something, hopefully get a hollow. Um, hollow rare, something a bit, little bit better this time around. Stuffle, oh, that's the Magic Carp artwork I really like. It looks like the Team Rocket Magic Carp boat out of the animated series. Mankey, Jang, Moro, is that the, oh no, Beedrill as the hollow, and for the First, yes, get in. First GX of the day, so we'll put him up, up there, and it is the Alolan Golem GX. So, first good pull. Hopefully, we can get a couple more out of these last two packs. I might open another two just round up to ten because we have got quite a few to open throughout the time, and we are getting a few greens, which is a little bit boring anyway. Uh, three to the front, get rid of the energy. And we have Kukuna, Lusamine, Corfish, Gasly. I do believe that in, I could be wrong, but in each of those, every box, you're guaranteed to get something quite rare. Um, I don't know if you get rainbow rares in that one. I'm oh, sorry, Jigglypuff was the hollow. So it was the rare on the end. Um, yeah, I know in some boxes, if you can get rainbow rares in uh, that set, you're guaranteed one in some of the boxes. I believe that to be true. Um, in that case, you might get something completely rare out of there. But hey, you can only see as we go along. Another white. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of the energy. And straight back in with layer on, we have a lowland graveler, emolga, dino with oh pharaoh in the background, very nice. We have the full Alolan Geo Dude set now. We have Remoraid, we have Aaron, we have Star You, Feebas as a hollow, so we've had a hollow Feebas and more Lotic, which is very very nice, and we have a slightly hollow beware. Not good enough to cut the top. I think we might grab another couple of packs while we're opening. Another white. We got one, two, three to the front. Fire energy. As well as. I would like to, I'll probably look before I do the next video, just to see what rares and, well, rare pulls you can get out of this box, or out of this set, sorry, and see which ones I'd like to pull the most, if I haven't already pulled them. We are oh, Count Energy as a hollow, that is very, very nice, and for the rare, yes, another Silvalloy GX card, did I think about Silvalloy earlier in the year. So he can go up there. That may be the perfect way 
to end the video. And I could wreck it all now with this last pack. I'm getting a green. But hey. Oh. Yeah, I think we're going to wreck it now. Yeah, do the 10 packs today. 42 memory. Counter energy. See if at least the hollow can be something good to end on. The peekaboo pumpkin. The eggs. The diggers bees. The artwork's okay. Um, and the rare is the big volcanic camel. So yeah, we still have uh, quite a few packs to open throughout some more videos coming at you later in the week. Um, or I'll open some more later in the week anyway. These are definitely the pulls of the day. I think I will probably go for, I think Silvalo GX does look the best out of the two. Very nice looking card. So yeah, we'll go for him as a pull of the day. Um, that's been a bit of a rush video. Like I said, I just got so excited, just ran straight upstairs, so just so I can film it and just share my excitement with everyone who does watch. It is now time for the code cards for those people who do collect them. Bit of a messed up one there, but hey, sure someone can either make that out if they wanted it enough or try and scan that. I just want to say a massive thank you to the people who watch this video uh, for the likes you leave and just subscribing. It's been massive, a um, couple of months for me. So just sharing something I enjoy doing, opening Pokemon cards, has been great. So I started this journey on YouTube at the beginning of the latest lockdown, which was, I'd say, beginning, middle of January. And I've just enjoyed every minute of it. The editing side, getting back into that after so many years has been so fun. Um, opening all these pools, opening all these rare cards and being able to share it all with everyone, getting the followers, the views, the likes. It's been it's been great. I really have enjoyed it. Lockdown will be easing and ending soon. I'll be going back to work soon, but I will be continuing this journey because it's something I've really enjoyed doing. Lockdown just gave me the chance to finally go ahead and do it and just get out on YouTube and just share my love of it to everyone else. I hope you've enjoyed the video, no matter how rushed it has been. Um, I'll get some more content out soon. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. And more than anything, have a great, great day.